Hello, um, I am Robert Grasso and this is um, a demonstration of the level design tools that I've been making. Uh, there was a video before this, but that tool has been improved and then there is a, another one so I'm going to show them uh, together and I'm going to show how fast I can create or get pretty close to the shot that we're seeing right now. Um, I'm also going to speed up the video to double speed um, and then that way we can hear, I mean that way we can see uh, basically how fast it can take and basically by the end of the video you you could say well if it, if it took him five minutes at twice the speed then it took him tw 10 actual minutes uh, real time to finish the level. So uh, here we go. Oh, and also I want to include that this will um, set me up for creating the rest of the level. This whole side over here hasn't been done yet. So once I have these initial tools set up, um, I'll be able to just like drag, like copy and paste and rotate uh, very quickly. And then beyond that, I could maintain the scales for these tools that I've created, like all of the values of rotation and everything, I could create other levels matching the exact style, scale, and everything, and then that way it makes it look like they're all from the same game, like all the different levels are from the same game, which is important to me, at least. So, anyway, here we go.
Okay, well, I'm um, done, I guess, with this. Um, I learned that this spline tool, I had a really hard time trying to get it to do a 90 degree angle. Let me stop this music. Um, I realized that I had a hard time with the 90 degree angle on the pipes, and um, that was pretty much the only hurdle that I had. So considering I couldn't do 90 degree angles, I couldn't I didn't want to spend the time in this video trying to make this wraparound work, but um, you got to see sort of what the tools are that that I made. Um, we can easily add and then just move and duplicate instead of like in here. If I wanted to grab this platform, I would have to like individually select every single tile. Hope that I got every single one of them. Don't want to forget the ones over here. And copy and paste and then move it over. And then in the cases where something was slightly wrong, I wouldn't be able to um, I wouldn't I, I would have to select all of them all over again or hopefully have them into a folder. In this system over here, it's like you saw, I was able to scale way more than this right here. And I did a pretty good job, I think, uh, creating this, like, these corner gutters. Um, this is just a decal, so I'll just demonstrate this really quick. So I can come over here. And so all of this, like, stuff that's laying over the top is... It's just um, just decals, so they will apply a stamp. Um, to there, so I would do that, and I would add all the lights, and it would get the same result eventually. So, um, but hopefully, the goal is to maintain the scale. That's what I like about these tools a lot maintaining the drone to world uh, ratio and yeah um, I'm pretty happy with this uh, I, I hope I figure out the 90 degree rotation with the splines with the with the pipes that we had up here but that's pretty much um, what I did I was able to make a space approximately four times the size of the original one very quickly and these are all very performance um, options and I actually when I gave up on the bending of the pipe I switched to the performant version of this um, spline tool so it's actually using the models. That's why it's so responsive. I can move it really quickly and very easily add to it. So if I were to hit Alt, now this is where it's going to get weird because I'm not snapping. I'll hold Alt and I drag it. And, and it actually looks pretty good doing it that way, surprisingly. So maybe I'll end up doing that. Uh, anyway, this has definitely lasted long enough. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.